What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters. I'm Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. And we're continuing our Tournament of Power round three this week. So, we got two very, very good fighters, and they were good enough to make it to round three. Matt, round three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, this is going to be a tough one to talk about and tough one to decide on. So, today, we actually have Galahad, which is Colin First character from the Kingsman series, versus Tommy Oliver, which is Jason David Frank's character from Power Rangers. Hey, hey, oh, okay, we gotta make this absolutely 100% uh, yes. clear. When we're talking about Tommy Oliver, we're talking about Tommy Oliver as a martial artist. Right. And when we watch the Power Rangers series, it just gets better. Like, his skills and his size, it, it, all it is is just getting better. Without the morphing abilities. Right. No no morphing, no superhuman strength, none of that. Just his martial arts skills. Which Tommy Oliver base base Tommy Oliver is seven different styles of mixed martial arts. But we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. All right, so for anybody who's coming into our Tournament of Power, just checking out the video, see what it's all about, or a new subscriber, or whatever, we're going to go over our rules um, for our Tournament <coughs> of Power for round three. All right, rule number one. <clears throat> Each participant has three days prep time. Three days. So whatever they can get, whatever kind of information they can gather in three days on their opponent, that's what they got. Round three, three days. Mm -hmm. All right, rule number two. Knives are always, always going to be allowed. Yes, rule. Yep, knives are allowed. It's been said it's, before. That's that's just the tournament, really. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> and it's a decided. <laughs> it's a knife fight. And it's decided many of the matches in our tournament so far. This, um, this, in this tournament. Um, rule number three: the fight takes place in an abandoned warehouse. So all those small corridors and obstacles and things like that. Now each fighter has to pay close attention. To, to their surroundings. And not only does an abandoned warehouse have those uh, sharp corridors and uh, uh, doorways, but it also has open spaces. Yes, it does. So, I mean, that goes in, that, that goes uh, hand in hand with the, uh, the planning. Yes. So, rule number four, no firearms. None. So, we, we always felt since we started this, we, since we decided to start this, we always felt firearms were... Not fair. Not fair at all. I mean, well, I mean, like I said before, you've also said it before, anybody can get lucky with a pop shot. Right. But it takes a real skilled fighter to beat somebody in hand-to-hand -hand combat with a knife. All right. So, first of all, spoiler alert, we're going to be talking in depth about each character, their movies, and or TV shows. So, spoiler alert, if you and, haven't seen any of it. And if you haven't seen any of it, shame on you. I agree. <laughs> All right, so who you want to talk about first? These these two characters, oh. man. Um, I like to pick the underdog about talking about first, but it's really honestly, the underdog in this one. This is a pretty even match. Yeah, I really. Mm, super spy, super martial artist. Mm. I mean, which one? Which one do you want to talk about? Let's do Galahad first. All right, Harry. Harry. Uh, Colin Ooh. Firth. Yes. Uh, character Galahad. Galahad. From so, the Kingsman. Yes. Manners make the, maketh the man. Manners maketh the man. So, we all know Colin, um, Colin Firth's character from the Kingsman movies, which one of our subscribers, Jacob, I'm, uh, yeah, <laughs> we know is over the top, man, but hey, it is what it you is. You know, it's all movie magic. <laughs> we got a Power Ranger in our tournament, so that shouldn't be of no surprise. Right. But um, Galahad, man, I think his... I don't think he has a lot of, like, I don't want to say a martial arts skill. I think uh, it's a uh, all-around knowledge of just good fighting. Right. And then that, uh, that is actually a good point. Yeah, I think that's, that's more along the lines of what it is. It's not about martial arts or anything like that. I think it's just, he's just, he's good in a fight. That I is true. I think that's yeah. what it is. I, I honestly think that he's just Talented, good in a fight. Right, and he's good at adapting as well, too, man. He's, he, we've seen in his fights, like the umbrella, oh, he uses the umbrella to beat those dudes, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we know Colin, for, um, we know Galahad is a very skilled adapter and martial arts. And I think he still knows some martial arts, even maybe, though we may not know. Maybe maybe like a, uh, 
like a not adept but a novice at like jujitsu some shit like that. I don't think it's more than jujitsu though, because he used a lot of strikes. No, I, I know. I'm, just, I'm saying like uh, jujitsu, like a, definitely a novice, novice in like jujitsu, definitely a novice in like uh, taekwondo. I'd say I'd say intermediate. I wouldn't even say novice. I'd say intermediate at least. I don't think expert. Oh. I'd say I'd say at least a not novice. even adept. I'd say novice to professional. Novice to professional, as far as me, as okay, far as okay. got so, so in the middle would be adept. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay. adept at it. Yeah, so, he knows enough to be. He knows enough to use it very well. But nowhere on the levels of some of the other. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But he's a good fighter, though. That's the main thing. That's the thing. His talent. Not only that, but his um, his genius. Because he's a smart dude. Oh, and his uh, his ability to accept pain and right. adapt to his surroundings and um he's just an interesting character right and plus if you look at um the church fight scene which i'm okay and y'all know i post videos of the fight scenes in, in the description and but if you, i'm sorry uh, the church fight scene yeah we're gonna go with that the church fight scene that is all full-blown um no uh, morals just straight west, fighter uh eastern kentucky which I don't know if anybody's ever seen the Hatfields and McCoys, but this is on the nth degree <laughs> fighting. Right, because it's just bare, it's just, man, bare bones, just whatever he can grab to use. Man, he's, he used a book. Dude, yeah, he, 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 a he book. beat somebody with a book. And we see and then, and then stabbed a guy with mm -hmm. a knife in we the see face and then took that knife out and stabbed another guy in the right. face. I think the church scene highlights his knife skills, though. It does because he shows. I mean, he's just skilled. Yeah, exactly. He's just a good fighter. Right, because you know, I, even though it's, I don't think it's an expert at martial arts, but you can see, like you said, he's a good fighter. He know he understands technique and understands advantages and disadvantages in a fight. Well, and I think and that's what helps him out. No, he's not ignorant. No, no, exactly. He's smart, and that helps him out in the fight as well. That's right. Because we see in that, in that church scene with his morals off. What he is capable of, right? I, I, you do. Oh my gosh, that is such a good point. That is such a good point. When, when um, all those barriers are broken down, mm -hmm. and he has no morals. I mean, just absolute skill. Yep, and we see how skilled he is. That church scene is a Every, highlight. To everything his skill. that he can use in his advantage. Yep, everything. Like yeah, books, we're, we're, yeah, books. Poles. Nah, sticks. sticks. A lighter. I mean, yeah, exactly a lighter. Mm -hmm. yeah, this this dude is very skilled. Uh, He's a skilled he takes fighter. Takes apart guns to use them as stabbing weapons. When he runs out of bullets, exactly. Yeah. So he, well, yeah, well, when he runs out of bullets, he's gonna take the gun apart and stab somebody with the weapon. So for me, man, that's what helps Galahad a lot in any matchup that he's, it is, that he'll face is the fact that he's such a he can adapt so well. And use um, pieces of his environment to help him and give him, I don't say give him advantage, but help him in a fight. But also, like you said, though, we have three days prep time. And his intelligence plays a big part in that. Very big part. Yes. And um, the uh, warehouse. There is a setting this time. Yes, and I, and we've seen where he's fought in enclosed areas before too. Well, the church in the first was, and second movie. Yeah, yeah definitely, exactly. Definitely the church and the diner in the second movie, the Golden Circle, and in the bar in the first movie and the second movie. Well, yeah, and, and the second movie, right? Well, that's that's another advantage that uh, Galahad has is that man. You know, he's kind of pretty mean to pain. That he can block it out, yeah, because he's taking some pain. He's taking, he's been stabbed I mean, and all that skillet to the face, right? Uh, that's without mind control, exactly. Um, uh, let's see, um, hitting, hit with uh, chairs, anything. Yeah, and he still was able to get up and go and get right back to the job at hand. Yep, and I think that for me is one of one of his greatest advantages and, too. And of course, we know the movie, the Kingsman movies are, of course, over the top, right? And yes, it is movie magic, which then again, actually everybody in our tournament is movie magic. Right, exactly. So, sorry, Jacob. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. All right, so now that we've done talking about Galahad, we're going to move on to Tommy Oliver. 
So to everybody knows, Tommy Oliver is David, Jason David Frank's character in the Power Rangers. He's been the red, black, white, green. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so he's been all four of those types of Rangers. Well, are we, are we going to talk about now? Yeah, we're, like, talking, yeah, we're talking about Tommy, Tommy now. All right, I mean, are we going to add Lord Draga? No, we won't add him. That's a different timeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because if it was uh, Lord yeah. Dre, or, or it George, would be yeah. a lot different. Dracken, that's what it was. Dracken, yeah. Yeah. Dre. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, it'd be a totally different story. Yeah, it'd be way different. All right, but, but anyway. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, red, so. Red, white, green, and black. Right. And I, and Tommy, man, I, I people do give him his credit. Because in the previous matches in his, in his videos, they brought up some good points where even in his human form, Tommy's actually used to fighting like different creatures from space and stuff like that well not even that i mean he took on um uh jason right in the tournament that yeah yeah he took on jason in season what season one i think no one, season yeah. two season two yeah of, uh, mighty Marvel power rangers without any kind of powers and beat jason without i mean he just beat him you he's just better than the red ranger right and i think too man with his he has a lot of knowledge, like I said, seven different disciplines of mixed, uh, martial, mixed arts. martial arts. You know, um, JKD, yeah, uh, Wushu. Wushu um, was it Wushu? No, oh, Wushu, what, Wushu was not one of them. Oh, okay, Wushu was not one of them. Um, you can watch our previous. Videos. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I, I can't think of it. There's there a lot. There, there's a whole. Oh, oh, no, no, Wang Chung. No, oh, Wing Chung, Wing Chung. Yes, yeah. Wing Chung. Yes, you're right. So, and, he, um, I mean, you know, he's no slouch. No, no. Tommy, man, he's, and the thing, man, again, he's fought different types of creatures and stuff like that without, without his, um, without any kind of powers or anything mm. like that. And I think, I think for me, like I said, for with his, he has so many, not, he has so many disciplines in martial arts. I think for him, that's what helps him out in a lot of his fights is he's a, He's a full-blown fighter. He, he knows the different martial arts and are experts at him. Well, okay. Now, I'm going to throw this out there, too. You know, uh, with Tommy Oliver, before he was ever endowed with the, the Green Ranger coin, the power coin, mm -hmm. Rita threw down six putties. And he... He beat them all. Dude, he did. He, uh, no, he didn't beat them. Dude, he just... He just smoked them. Right. And, you know, that's before... That like that was her uh, initiation. That was a test. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was like exactly. Her initiation. That was before he was ever even like in the idea of being the Green Ranger. She was like, "Here, fight these guys." Right. Okay. Well, you beat them easily. Here's your power coin. Now, see, now, honestly, putties feel no pain. They, they're adept at fighting, and you know. Even though they're cannon fodder, but they still are. They, they still really are cannon fodder, but still, they're like, they're, they're adept. Oh, yeah. And I, and I think for me, Tommy, man, as, as a martial artist, is what helps him out in this matchup. That's, that, I think that that is actually his greatest advantage. Now, let's, let's not forget also another advantage that he has over Galahad, his blade work. And that's true. And I know a lot of people say, well, he's Saba, but we got to remember now, no matter mm -hmm. what, even though he's a Power Ranger at that time, he still has to have an, it's because you have enhanced abilities, doesn't mean you're an expert at, I mean, Actually, or can use that knife or blade. And he says to have, to have to have the knowledge of being able to use the, the, the blade itself, the knife work, whatever, how you wanna, however you want to put it without being a Power Ranger. And it's still his, all his abilities. And Saba, yeah. He just, and they he's just a sentient uh, knife. But actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna take Saba off the plate. Dragon Dagger. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely, that is not sentient. Nope, and he still uses it and uses it well. That is right, that yeah. is absolutely right. That Dragon Dagger is, just that a regular is actually knife. the, Best kind of thing. Actually, that's his advantage is that he is so adept and so proficient, so perfect with the dragon dagger. Right. It's a dagger that also plays as a flute. <laughs> right. 
It was like but, a pretty good whistle. I like that. It was pretty good. Well, that's the tell that you called uh, called the dragon to work. <laughs> but know, anyway. But anyways, and I think his knife work and his martial arts skill may help him out so much. That 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 is a that is an advantage. But honestly, I don't think it's gonna help. Really? No. Hmm. All right, so who's, well, so who's, well, all right, so everybody, we've so got our, friend, we're going to do our picks. Yeah, so we're going to do our picks right now. Everybody, again, we, this is our third, what, third, this is our third match with Tommy and Galahad, so if you want to see our previous ones, go watch those. Watch the videos. And just, or, that way you get I a mean, background. Actually, if you want, really, I mean, Tommy Oliver and Jason David Frank are pretty much the same Same guy, person. right, it is true. And it, if it you want to see the martial arts skill of Tommy Oliver, watch Jason David Frank uh, fighting an MMA octagon. Right. And that would give you an idea of how good he, uh, Jason David Frank, I mean, uh, 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 Tommy Oliver is. And, I mean, it's literally, it's, that's, that's who Tommy Oliver was based off of. Right. Jason David Frank, so. They're one and the same now. And, yeah, like, I mean they they are literally the same person. All right. And oh, go, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, oh, yeah. Watch his uh watch his actual MMA fights. I know he we're not going up, he doesn't lose. No, I know we're not going up the person, but watching I, him because really we don't have been kind of Well, it is the same person because they based it off of Jason by uh, Jason's uh, martial art and everything. Right. What I'm saying is because I can't post that's one of the things about Tommy Oliver is that most of his fights are in when he's in, when he's in his Power Rangers suit, so it's hard to post fights. He's got a few, but not a lot of with the him one just being that a martial. Just, uh, the one uh, him versus the putties. Right now, that's about the best one because there's not many of them that where he's now. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I got him versus Goldar too. I got another one where him and um, where he was uh, in the Power Ranger movie. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. They, uh, they're fighting the uh, the Uzi guys. No, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Ivan Uzi's. Right. So, who's your pick for this week? It's a long pause. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think my pick for this week. I, I honestly, I still think Galahad's gonna win. Oh, oh, Galahad. Now, why do you say Galahad? Harry. Harry, Harry um, that's his real name, but uh, Galahad. I, I think Galahad's going to win because, for one, he's sophisticated. I honestly think he's more intelligent. And with the uh, three days prep time, right. he's go to figure out every single flaw and um, in an abandoned warehouse yeah definitely Galahad hmm. because nobody says that you can't hide a knife that's true alright my pick for the week Tommy Oliver I think Tommy's skill with the blade his proficiency in multiple martial arts and I think he has the heart of a fighter. Like, no matter what, he is not going to give up. He's going to continue to fight no matter what because it's in his heart to do right. And I think for me, Tommy Oliver has too many advantages. And again, Tommy's, Tommy's fought in closing in closures before. Closed, um, a lot of closing closures where there's a lot of walls and stuff like that. He's fought in the same thing. And I think for me, just his knife work and his martial arts skills is too great for Galahad to overcome. I, I, I'm going with Tommy this week. I think I'm going to have to, uh, maybe, this is the first time we've done this. I think I might have to debate with you on this one. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think, of course, I'm wearing a Power Rangers t-shirt. <laughs> I don't think that uh, his knife work is... I don't think it's up to par with uh, Galahad's um, intelligence. Hmm. And I think that Galahad will know that we have three days prep time, so Galahad's like, well, I'll just get a knife penetrating suit tailored 
because, you know, they are the Kingsman tailors. Fair enough. He's like, well, you know, I'll just get a suit tailored that can't get uh, penetrated by a blade. Well, I don't think, for me, I don't think even that matters because I think, for me, as a martial artist and as a fighter, I think Tommy Oliver's better. Like, Tommy Oliver, Tommy Oliver knows too many disciplines, too many different okay. martial arts to be able to, to be beaten by somebody in a, good, in a nice suit. Okay. Just and being honest. I think the size and the year really depends on this one. I don't think so because, again, if that was the case, Mad Dog would have lost the bone. Mm, no. Because Mad Dog, because no, Bone no, is I, much bigger than I, Mad Dog. No, there has been a drastic change in the Tommy Oliver character. He's a lot bigger now. I, I, I agree, but as I'm saying, so we're, are, are we're going we, by the end. Like I said, his. Not the very beginning of Tommy Oliver, but basically the, the pinnacle well, the of when pic- he was. The, the picture that Carolina post is, is when he was a White Ranger. When he was a White Ranger. And to me, that's when he was in his most powerful. That is false, by the way. I'm just saying, I think that's when he was most powerful. That is absolutely false. Because if you look at a picture of him when he was the Black Ranger, mm-hmm. he's probably put on about 50 pounds of muscle. Okay, well then that's different then. <laughs> I still not only not only that, but I mean, if you, but you're making my point I mean, for me. If, he, if he's bigger, then that means Galahad has going to have a harder time beating him. Cause size does matter sometimes. I mean, let's be honest. Depending on the martial artist, size sometimes does matter. It, it really does. Let me honestly, because there's a lot more right power behind your blows. This is this is the the fun part about the uh, the third the third round. Right. This, uh, the debate. I'm going. I say, I still say Tommy Oliver. That's that's just me. I think Tom I'm wearing the Power Ranger shirt, but he said uh, he said Tommy Oliver. That's who I think's gonna win it. And uh, I think Galahad. The prep time makes it more even for Galahad. That's what helps him make it even. Because if it was a random encounter, Tommy Oliver would beat the shit out of That's, Galahad. And the the prep time helps him make it even, to where it's an e or they're on equal footing. But because I don't, I, which no, oh, 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 no. Prep time actually goes to Tommy. Because remember, at the time, Tommy was the leader of the Power Rangers. And he had to prep that was for only those when missions. He was the White Ranger. But, okay, that's still part of his skill. Fuck. It's still part of it. It's still his evolution right. as a character. So he's used to prepping an, excuse me, an entire team to be ready for battle. All right, to be the leader. So this doesn't happen very often. It really doesn't. I've been proven wrong. You're right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so you switching your pick or you staying with Galahad? I, <laughs> I told you, man, yeah. round threes, man. I'm sorry, man. I hate it, dude. I really do. I hate to agree with you on this. And, of course, our subscribers know they, they know I hate to agree with anybody. Yeah. But it's the truth, man. It really is. Like I said, people, people forget he was a leader, too, man. He's when, used to leading when, people. When I'm proven wrong... I'll admit it. Right. And you just did it. Of course. You still going with Galahad? N- no. Oh, you're going with Tommy now? Yeah. Why? Ah. Well, well, that's why. That's, that was the whole model. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you pick Tommy now. Yep. Tell you, man. This Damn is, good points, man. I appreciate damn it, man. Damn good. Damn, damn good, man. I got to step my game up, man, because Sunja, man, I mean, Will and, and Jacob, man, make me have to step my game up to really bring some good points yeah. on. Well, because they know. keep siding with you, so I got to like, just bring hey, some good we, points. Yeah, uh, we just kind of demolished you. Like, <laughs> yeah, you like, did. Yeah, I did. All right, so our picks, my pick now, uh, my pick is Tommy Oliver. My pick was, was Galahad, but now it is Tommy. So we got two for Tommy Oliver this week. Now, I want, um, actually, all it really takes is uh, somebody. It takes it really a good debate did. and a good a, point, a, man. A, yeah. Because you, you see what happened. I and, brought up a good point. And, he, and guys, I'm sorry I haven't been able to comment, but I've had, I've had some uh, technical difficulties. I'm, it's like my Xbox has crashed and all that, all kinds of shit. Yeah, I mean, all kinds of hellfire have been raining on me, so... <laughs> just, just give me a, throw me a bone here. Right. Fair well, enough. Right? Fair enough. All right, so you got our picks for the week, everybody. Tommy and Tommy. 
But um, we thank y'all for joining us this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get notified of our future videos. Do not forget to leave your pick for the week. Who do you choose, Tommy or Galahad? And give us a reason why. Nice. That's right. But I'm Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. We thank y'all for joining Kraken Hunters. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.